Good afternoon, everyone. We're uh, joined by Michael Daniels. We'll open for some comments from John Dooley. And we'll open for some questions. Uh, I thought it was, a, obviously, a great performance by us. Um, the first quarter started a little rocky, I think, from a defensive standpoint. They were, uh, they were getting some pretty good looks, and we weren't uh, quite as quick as we needed to be. But um, after we kind of regrouped, uh, you know, I really liked our comeback to cut it to six at halftime. I thought that was a big key to it. You know, we talked at halftime about there's 20 minutes left in our season, and we got to get on the glass. We got to start defending at a higher level and the shots are going to come. You know, I thought they would have a hard time guarding us if we could get out, spread the floor, get up and down the floor. And, you know, uh, we got our kids running, our post started running, you know, our guards started running, we started pushing the ball up the, up the floor and scoring. But I thought the key was we were defending. We started defending at a high level in the second half, and I thought that was the key. Yeah, we did. You know, we we talked, and I heard the I heard the guys on the bench saying, you know, fourth quarter is it ten minutes ago? Let's go, and you know, we all had that mindset. And as soon as you know, we hit a couple of threes, big. We got we got people moving. Uh, I thought we had great movement of the basketball, um, and that's that's the way we like to play. And I thought, you know, you can see with all the people in, in double figures that we were really sharing the basketball extremely well. And that's we know when we're doing that. I mean, 21 assists. Uh, we're always trying to get at least 20. And 21 assists mean we have a pretty good, pretty good day. Yeah, it was awesome, man. She was, she was open. I told her they're doubling off you. They're doubling off you. They're, you know, they they got no respect for you. You know, knock it down. And you know, the corner three has been something good for her all year, and she, and she just knocked that thing down. Christina, how much did the, your your game on Wednesday kind of motivate you to come out and shoot well today? Um, well, in the first quarter, we were struggling a little bit, and uh, I don't know. I, just, I saw that they were on Mikey or Michaela from last game because she had nine threes. So I knew they were going to get out on our shooters because they had huge games. And uh, I just tried to find some space and, and shoot with confidence and started off hitting. So that just helped me throughout the game. And uh, when, when they were in their matchup zone, I just tried to kind of attack it. We talked about getting in the middle of it. So I tried to make a few plays doing that. And once it opened up, I think I was just pretty confident the rest of the game. What Kayla says, she kind of looks up to you, and then, you know, during games and stuff with her shooting. What's, what's your dynamic like on the court? Um, I just see myself in, in these freshmen, and Michaela specifically, that, you know, I came in and I was a shooter, and, and there's ups and downs in games, and you're going to have games where you're struggling, and just keep shooting next shot, next play. I've learned to, you know, try to try to get some offense out of defense if I'm struggling. So when I see her, I'm just like, hey, keep shooting the ball. You know, I try to give, give her some confidence, because when she's shooting with confidence, she's making almost all of them. So. Uh, I try to take her into my wing, same with Taylor, and just you know tell him to keep shooting next shot, next play, and, and most times they're making it, so it seems to work. I think it'd be fantastic, you know, especially for our senior class to go three out of four years would be fantastic. It'd be a great experience for our freshmen. Um, without a doubt, it's it's why we play the game to to go to the NCAA tournament. It's what our program's about. Um, but there's a huge mountain in front of us right now, and uh, you know that's what we got to take care of. Um, it'd be huge. I mean, my first two years, I didn't really know what it was like not to go. And then last year, uh, when we struggled, it was just kind of mo motivating us more, uh, specifically our senior class to, you know, hey, this is our last year. Uh, we want the first two years. Let's do it again. And to kind of to show our freshmen the way and the way we want to do things here, just so that we, when we leave, you know, they, they have a, they've developed habits and, and ways of playing. Just a couple more. Both of the freshmen you guys ever just you guys have so much confidence. Why? Where does that come from? How do you do this each other? Oh, that's easy. It comes from my, our coaches and our teammates. Like, like I said, I look up to Sal, and she's a great shooter, and she gives us a bunch of confidence. At the beginning of the year, I remember Coach got on Taylor and I a little bit for not taking our shots, and. So we kind of realized that, oh, we have the green light. And <laughs> ever since we've been taking it. So yeah, just that they have confidence in us. We have confidence in ourselves. And it's working. Uh, John, your familiar opponent got Yeah, they're, uh, they're a tough physical basketball team, without a doubt. You know, they manhandled us down in Pocatello, literally. <laughs> so, you know, um, we're going to have to Again, like I said yesterday, go back to the drawing board, take a look at uh, what went down in that game, um, you know, and hopefully, uh, you know, we're allowed, it's, it'll be a nice clean game. And, 
you know, that's that's the way it should be for a championship game, um, not a, you know, WWF match, all right, and so to speak, like it was. And so um, that's, that's what we're looking at. One more. Coach, uh, Coach, they wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the new format. So even aside from all the teams coming to being in Reno, how has that been uh, for you guys enjoying this new uh, format? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's a new old format for us. You know, we come from the WAC where we had those neutral games in Las Vegas. So we like this format, love the format. Um, and I think it's fantastic for the league. When I was coaching Idaho State, I kept pushing for a uh, neutral court site. I mean, even when we won it and hosted and all that stuff, it was, I, I know this league, we needed this neutral site. And I'm glad they, they finally went to it. And I can tell you, nothing but props for the people, that our Big Sky people that have been running this tournament. They have done a fantastic job of putting on a first-class tournament. All right, guys, one more question we're going to give it to Jeff. Um, the, obviously, you went through your fair share of games against your former school already, but what is it like playing your former school for a, a big Scott team? I don't know. I've been gone eight years. You know, this is this is my school. I'm a, I'm a vandal now. What happened in the past? You know, I was at SMU. I was at Hawaii, and I've been at Idaho State. Those things are all in the past, man. Eight years, eight years. I'm vandal through and through right now. I don't, I'm just looking at the personnel and the people on the other side, not not the name across the jersey. All right, thank you guys. Congrats. Thank you.